It's a nice sound, isn't it? Nice and quiet. That's how I want to hear their stadium as we're getting our medals at the end of the game. Nice and quiet. We might as well start to sell tickets for our pregame and our warm-up because we'd raise money for the program. Don't you notice that? Did everybody turn around and looking at you like they've never seen you before? They don't know anything about you. They're staring at you. You notice we don't do that stuff. I don't care who they are or what they are or what they do. I know they already they don't like us, so I don't, I don't care. I'm concerned about you. You guys are my concern. I know what kind of people we have. And to correct Coach Pat, we've been doing this since November. A full year's worth, a full year's worth of preparation for one night. For one night. All the speeches, all the practice, everything pointed towards one night. This is the one that you guys will remember for the rest of your lives. <laughs> Nobody is giving you a chance except the people in this room and the people that care about you and have been in touch with you for the last couple weeks. Those are the people that care about you. Those are the people in your corner. And Coach Joe is right. Going home on a bus last week, there wasn't a peep on the bus because you guys were dead tired. You had given everything you had, just like I asked you to. Well, you need to give a little bit more this week. A little bit more. Because it means a little bit more. It's another step closer. You need a little bit more. And you got it in you. Because I've seen it. And we've been pushing you for this. To lay it all on the line. I am so sick and tired of getting looked down upon. You have an opportunity to shut up a lot of people. And to make the people that care about you the most so proud of you. They already are. But give those people that are cheering for us and are in our corner something to be proud of. A district championship will be the best team in this district. And then we'll go after the next prize. You better come out and play from the beginning till the end. Everything you've got. Everything. Don't take a playoff. Don't look for a way out. Don't hope they don't run the ball at you. Run it! Because you're going to need it. You're going to need to be confident in yourself. You're going to need it. Because they're going to come at you, and they're going to come at you. And they're going to bark at you. And they're going to laugh at you. And they're going to point at you and try to get you off your game. You don't do a thing except smack them in the mouth and run around them. You do everything you've got to do to win this game. The right way. Our way. World's way. You knock them down, you pick them up. You knock them down, you get back in the huddle, you do it again. And again, and again. You better give everything you have. Don't you dare quit on me. Don't you dare let up. You just keep going, and keep going, and keep going. Because I'm not ready to let this end. And you better not be either. I know what kind of kids you are. You get your asses up, get out that door, and get after it. Let's go. Right here. Let's go. Remember who and what you are and who and what you're playing for. Win all three. One, two, three. Let's go. Congratulations, buddy. A lot more games to play, buddy. Don't hang your head. Number two will join you next year. You got to be in line by number. Hell of a year, kid. Hell of a year. All right, D. That's the way to play hard, buddy. Good job. Number 11, Tyler Saylor. Number 13, Devin Howard. Congratulations, kid. Good luck to you in whatever you do. You had a hell of a season. Good job. Congratulations, buddy. I know you don't want that one. Congratulations. Good job, Joey.
Good job, Nick. Good season, kid. Good job, buddy. Good job, Miss. Working hard. Yeah, Johnny. Good job. Good job, Zeke. Good job, buddy. Danny. RJ. <laughs> Proud of you, kid. <laughs> Proud of you. Glad you decided to stick this out. Good job. Put that kind of effort in everything you do in life. Good job. <laughs> oh, buddy. Check my hand. I'm proud of you for everything you did. For sticking through all everything that was thrown at you. I'm proud of you. All right, Ant. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2010 District 11 Class A runner-ups. Better round of applause for the Pies of 10 Royals. St. Pius X, Our Lady Queen of Victory. I would imagine not a, not a feeling you're going to soon forget. Okay? Seniors, I wish you the best of luck in whatever you do. I know that it hurts, but you're going to remember this season and these games and these kids and these coaches for the rest of your life. If you ever need anything, you pick up the phone and you call. You come back and be a part of us. It hurts. It hurts. I know, guys. Put a lot of time into this, okay? Bottom line is you got to stop the run to win high school football games. You got to stop the run, okay? We're underclassmen. We will, uh, everybody, everybody we will meet on Monday. We'll meet on Monday to turn our stuff in and say goodbye to the seniors. What? <laughs> we'll have our team meeting on Wednesday when they come back. Okay, Wednesday we'll turn in our equipment. All right? Underclassmen, should make you want to work that much harder. Proud of the season. I'm proud of you for accepting me as your head coach, okay, and fighting, and fighting to the end, okay? I appreciate the effort, guys, and I, I still believe in each and every one of you, okay? It hurts now. For you underclassmen, don't, don't soon forget this. Bring it in. Let's go. Congratulations to you seniors. Royals on three. One, two, three. Royals!